Hi, welcome to another Tasty Tuesday on Christie's A Plus Cooking. Today, why is for your choice. And the featured recipe today is a copycat recipe from Cracker Barrel called Maple Bacon Glazed Chicken. Let's get started. When I surveyed everybody on my cooking page for the Your Choice theme, the majority of people wanted a main dish. Well, about a year ago, I went to Cracker Barrel and I fell in love with this new entree, maple bacon glazed chicken, and I've been looking for a copycat recipe and I finally found one. So, that's what we're making today. It calls for six chicken breasts, I use three large ones and cut them in half. And then two to three tablespoons of Creole or Cajun seasoning. I didn't have that, so I looked it up on Delish and I made my own. And it takes a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder or salt, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I used fresh ground. And you're just gonna mix it up and then you're gonna sprinkle it on both sides. And before I did that, I cooked 12 strips of bacon to about 70% doneness. And I saved the bacon grease and that's what we're gonna brown the chicken in. So I sprinkled that on there. I'm gonna warm up my bacon grease and my electric frying pan on 350. I'm gonna turn those over. Sprinkle some more on. And you're gonna brown those for about two to two minutes on each side. Because we're gonna be baking them in the oven. I've already preheated my oven to 350 as well. The chicken has browned and now we're gonna make the sauce. We're gonna take a fourth a cup of soy sauce, a fourth a cup of Worcester sauce. I can never say that. Two thirds cup of pure maple syrup. And yes, I am a maple syrup snob, living in Vermont for 34 years and a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard. And then another fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then we're just gonna whisk that together. And we're gonna pour that over the chicken and let it bake for 30 minutes. We're gonna reserve about a fourth a cup. So I've already sprayed my baking dish with non-stick cooking spray. And we're gonna place our chicken in. I ended up with seven instead of six pieces. And then you're just gonna pour the sauce and we're gonna just reserve about a fourth a cup and we're gonna bake it. I baked the chicken for 30 minutes and now we're gonna top each piece of chicken with a slice of Colby Jack cheese. 
I also pre-cooked bacon, just 70% done because it's gonna cook for about eight to 10 more minutes. And it will finish baking the bacon. I'm putting two slices on each. Except for the smaller ones, I'm only gonna put one. And a half. I also have a little leftover sauce and I'm just gonna pour it on top. And then we're gonna bake it for eight to 10 more minutes. Here is today's recipe. I baked the chicken in my special Christie's Creation dish that Ken gave me for about eight more minutes. And I cannot wait to taste this. I hope it's as good as the one in Cracker Barrel. If you're enjoying my videos, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell all your family and friends about it. Thanks for watching another Tasty Tuesday and I'll see you next week.